So, Dandy Off-Road is going to become a dealer for MTS Off-Road. Wow. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. You said slow the first time. I feel like that's not 40. That kid's got issues. <laughs> we need to no, drug no. test him. Stock belts, stock seat. Yeah, worst case scenario. Most uncomfortable situation you could be in. <laughs> and you're coming back and saying it feels good. Yeah, so you feels know great. that's a good thing. My shoulders don't hurt. <laughs> right. My neck doesn't hurt. My butt feels good. All right, guys, um, super dark. I don't even know if you can see me right now. We got this going on. But anyway, uh, let's see, let's do this. Okay, you probably can see me at least a little bit. Not that it matters, but epic adventure, epic uh, trip, 12 hour drive, something like that. Brandy can't be with us because she is at work. But we got something really cool coming up. I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff. And we got big changes coming for Dandy Off-Road. So stay with me right now. Uh, let's do a little bit of a road trip and then I'll show you what's up. All right, first pit stop over here at the Flying J. Uh, we were just here. Turn left at the stop sign, then take the first right. But yeah, so uh, quick pit stop, quick pit stop because uh, we left without any fuel so we had to stop already it's like only an hour in but here we go <clears throat> having a snap <clears throat> had to be really bad that's a loves second loves and we've only made it about 200 miles second loves and we've only made it about 200 miles but here's the deal turn left at the stop sign then that take coffee? the second left so I had to stop and I figured you know since I'm stopping uh, we had about 450 440 miles wow that's a lot we had 440 miles left to go. So since I was stopping, you know, to use the restroom, I went ahead and topped off. That's a lot of info, right? But Turn anyway, left on California we, are, 58 East. we got a lot of stuff going on right here. But we, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we are about 200 miles in, maybe more, and uh, headed for Phoenix, Arizona. And so I'm gonna take you along for the ride and see what's up. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be awesome.
right, a quick update. Uh, we're cruising along pretty good. Let's see, we have, uh, hold on, let me see. We have, we have, hold on, I can't read, oh, 256 miles to empty. So we will have to stop again because we have 285 miles to go. See that? 285. 285. So we have gone over 300 miles so far. It is only 11.22. I left about 5.30. I did stop a couple of times. So we're cruising along pretty good. Uh, we're going to get there. This is cool stuff going on. Stay for the unboxing. Stay for the other stuff. Stay for the installs that are going to come soon after this video. Uh, subscribe and like you got to check this stuff out big big changes coming we're gonna be do, doing a bunch of stuff we have we kind of been keeping some stuff quiet and we're gonna talk about that Randy's gonna help me tell you more about that soon so stay with us Okay, so let's do a quick check-in. 203 miles to go. We're about to break the 200 down to 100. Uh, and I think we are about, I think we are about 50 to 70 miles from uh, the state line into to Arizona. All right, look at that. 164 miles to my destination. But look at that. See that line? Pretty sure that's the line, the state line. I think you can see that. I can't see it on the screen here, but that line just past Blythe right there. State line into Arizona. Look, Blythe coming up, 23 miles. So we're about 23, 24, 25 miles, whatever, from the state line, Arizona. And 164 miles uh, total distance. 164 miles total distance to our destination. Not bad, because it's only, what time is it? It's 1 o'clock, 1.04. We left at 5.30 this morning. Doing decent, but I gotta stop, and I gotta stop soon. the state line right here look at all that activity state line type stuff uh, yeah I feel like we're on it right now last time my phone did a like a welcome to uh, the jungle I mean welcome to Arizona right there right there yep yeah yeah right there Arizona state line boom all right hopefully I got that so here's what we're gonna do now that we've crossed over look at these gas prices Oh wow, backed up, backed up. Those people are backed up going into California. I'm leaving. Leaving not on a jet plane. But I need to use facilities. So let's get off right here. Figure out where we're at, look at the prices. All right, Flying J. We're gonna go for the Flying J, what do you say? Welcome to Arizona. I am. Well, we did it. We did that much anyway. At the roundabout, take the third exit roundabout. to I-10. Roundabout? What's that about? Alright, I see. Alright, finally we're rolling. We were backed up forever back there. Uh, we probably lost a good 20 minutes, I'd say. Anyway, it's still, it's only 347 and we are 18 minutes away. We're gonna roll into MTS uh, for a minute, uh, get a room. Tomorrow we're going to hit it, which will be minutes in this video, right? Or will it? Who knows? Anyway, 
Phoenix. We're on into Phoenix, Arizona right now. No brandy. She did pack me up all kinds of stuff. I mean, everything you can think of I could possibly need. Clothes. Uh, I mean, snacks. I haven't stopped at all for food or drink on this trip. Because she set me all up with everything. Super awesome. Alright. I'm going to go do cool stuff. In 400 feet, turn right onto North 57th Avenue. Take the next right onto North 57th Avenue, then turn right. Your destination is on the left. All right, so I cut out a little bit early yesterday. I've been in the car for 10 hours. When I got there, I just kind of cut out. Today is uh, first day at MTS, and this morning we're gonna actually gonna do something different. Uh, all right, so it's like seven o'clock in the morning. Dad, what is going on here? Buddy, it just so happens that as you're coming here to uh, get trained on being a dealer, yeah. Uh, Jeep and I have to go out and do some testing on uh, some new pistons that the team came up with. Awesome. So we are doing an early morning session. Probably about 30 minutes is all we need. And uh, we're just glad we can take you with us. And, yeah, it's perfect. And uh, we'll show you what, you, what we do to uh, get these tunes to come about. Right on. Can't wait. Oh, look, the exploder mobile. It's getting a shock tune. We got a couple cars we're gonna roll with right here, and uh, we'll see what we can do and make sure we're going in the right direction. So what's uh, what's going on with these particular cars? Uh, these guys. This one's my brother-in-law's. We're gonna go out and balance this car. I can am. And we gave him a freshen up and and uh, brought it to life. Uh, did a couple little modifications. So far, the testing has gone good. Low speed's great, it's comfortable, it's got a good hydraulic feel to it. We haven't ran it through whoops to balance it yet. Okay, so. Asiamp has a good section of whoops and that'll tell us what we need to do internally from here. Very nice. So, we're gonna go out, dissect it, and go have some fun. Awesome. What's wrong? Oh no, oh God, what is going on in there? We got, <laughs> so, we got the family. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, uh, you gotta show the mullet off. Turn, turn show it the, the mullet, side. oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, don't do it. Don't even think about it. Until it starts spinning, G. <laughs> How's it going? I'm not pushing. Good. What's going on, man? What are we doing, man? Well, I'm sitting in the back seat getting chauffeured around. <laughs> Gotta love that. That's my favorite part of the day. Oh, yeah. But we are getting ready to offload here at Hacienda, and we're going to get some testing in on these on these new pistons that the team has designed and come up with. Man, I need this place in California. This oh. is nice. I mean, it's what, what is it? Thirty minutes from the shop, Jeep. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And it really simulates uh, some good hard driving. It's got a great section of whoops out here, and uh, it, it it's a great tool for us I to bet. create these tunes. I'm, this is a great section for us, uh -huh. where we've already tested the car on low speed. It feels pretty good. Yeah and some duning that we did up in Oregon, but we have yet to really get through a big section of whoops. Okay. Oh, wow. There it comes. All right, so next pass, coming back the other way. So if he doesn't hit us. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't really like that idea.
Yeah, that's his favorite. His that's favorite. Funny. He came through here and hit both burns as best he could. Favorite driving position. <laughs> That's not 40. That kid's got issues. <laughs> we need to drug test him. <laughs> All right, the Jeep Meister is gonna see what he thinks. Yeah, is it four wheel? Okay. Safer for him. It was under control. I came here for a reason. We're going to talk about that real quick. Uh, we got some testing tuned in. Yeah, I'll show you some do. of that. But there was a bigger reason I came here. So that's what we're going to talk about real quick. So Dandy Off-Road is going to become a dealer for MTS Off-Road. And is going to be able to, in your area where you live, be able to take care of everybody in that whole valley. So uh, we are extremely excited that uh, customers throughout that uh, part of California are going to be able to go to Dandy Off-Road and get your suspension done as if you were coming to Phoenix, Arizona to get it done. So he has been training for the last few days and it's gone really well. And uh, we are excited to move in this direction. I'm excited for Dandy Off-Road. This is gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. This is gonna be real good. And, and not to mention the amount of service you're gonna be able to give to your community. Yeah, we got. We can do tunes, rebuilds. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. A lot of service that you're going to be able to do. Nitrogen levels. Nitrogen should be checked periodically. You're going to be able to do that for your buddies out there. Absolutely. And all of your customers. It's good. It's going to be great. So, uh, yeah, we're excited. Been training, and uh, you're going to go home, get your shop set up, and get it all dialed in, and uh, should be ready to roll like, really quick. Yeah. So oh, this yeah. is going to be fun. Yeah, we've been good times. We've been moving towards that. Yeah. We've been talking about this for it's got to be about six months now. We've been yeah, uh, yeah. trying to get this uh, dialed in and ready to roll, and we're here. And we've been so making, yeah, and we've been making some changes at home to get ready as well. Yeah. I've kind of been showing some people that along the way, so I don't know if they got the hint, but yeah. that's what's that's up. Cool. This is what's going down. It was nice because we were able to go out to do uh, do some tests and tune on some new product. Yeah, sorry, and. Uh, uh, be able to show you what we do when it comes to balancing cars and it worked out cool. Yeah. So yeah. we're pretty stoked. This is this going to be a great deal. I'm feeling good about it and the reality is we're going home with a couple of tunes that are already getting installed. Yeah. Yeah. So we're moving right The Explorer along. is loaded. That, so we're, yeah. we're stoked. Yeah. We're jumping in this guy right now. Uh, it's about, I'll probably be leaving Arizona about four o'clock in the afternoon on Friday and I'm going to try yeah. to get as close to home as I can and we'll go from there. How far do you think you're going to make it? Well, <laughs> For me, it's mileage per monster. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a mileage per monster when I'm traveling. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to tell Brandy, but there's a good chance I'll get home. Oh, shit. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I'm going to call you in the middle of the night now. Right, right, right. Just to make sure you're getting home. But uh, yeah. we're stoked. We really appreciate what Dandy Off-Road has done for the industry and what you've done for us. You brought, uh, you, you brought us a ton of tunes. Yeah. So this is a great, great move for us. Yeah, great move for you guys be, too. So it's gonna be a ton more. I and I can't say enough about the tunes on our cars and how well they work. I know I can tell you this: the Can Am's always been dialed. Second generation tune on the car. I was just amazed. I'm blown away. Yeah. I jumped in a car a while back, a stock Can Am, and it was brutal. I didn't realize how horrible they ride. But the thing is, another thing that happened recently, and unfortunately the car's gone, but we bought an XP Pro. It was just a Walker Evans car, not even, yeah. you know, not velocity shots, just Walker Evans. 
uh, bottom of the line, really, right? When it comes when to it shocks. comes to shocks, yeah, there's, they're, they're, yeah, they're not super special, but we get them to work good. Well, and here's the thing. So I got in that car and I headed out in Glamis. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna test these things out and see, you know, see how it rides before we do a tune. I immediately hurt my back, and I mean hurt it. Ooh. I mean, it almost yeah. ended my weekend. We went straight over after that. We did a tune, and I was blown away yeah. at how much we were able to do with those, you know, bottom of the line shots. The, the combination that the team has created is. Yeah, it's rock solid. Yeah, even with the Walker Evans, our Walker Evans tunes are on yeah. point. They, they really, really are. are. I can slap some video up right here yeah. of Brandy driving that car through the whoops. That was a good one. Before it wrecked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the day before it got yeah. totaled. Yeah. Before it got tacoed. And here's the thing, stay tuned because our Turbo S is getting ready to get yeah. a tune and I know it's going to be amazing. Yeah, rock solid. So that's where we're going. We're, All right, brother. We're we love here. you, man. Love you, man. We're out.